This is Graham C from So and Seas Ministries. This is a, a new session uh, on a new call, and it comes from Luke 5 1 to 11. I'm not going to read it all out, but maybe you can read it yourself. You maybe you can pause your uh, video and read the scripture and then come back. I'm going to read from verse 4 to 7 from Luke chapter 5. It says, When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down the net for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signalled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they come and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. So the first call on our new call is having a greater commitment. Having greater commitment. Um, after all he had, the responsibilities that Peter had on that night, it was early morning, he'd been out all night. Let me give you some little ideas of what he was doing. Peter and his friends will have been now washing the nets. They'll have been folding them and putting them away for hopefully a better night the next day. Now let me say something. These were professional experts at fishing. They knew where the fish were. They knew all about it. They've been fishing for a long time. A long long time they knew where to fish and what time to fish what was the best way to fish they knew it all and yet here they have Jesus shouting to them put your net down go to the middle and let your net down again can you imagine what his friends were saying don't listen Peter don't listen it's a load of rubbish We've tried all night, we're tired, we worked hard and luckily you've worked hard cleaning our nets and fixing them and ready for tomorrow night, for tonight sorry and he's shouting you to let them down and no don't, don't do it and yet Peter on that sea decided to make the decision like we should to follow and trust God's word word we should trust God's word when he says he can do something he can do it we've got to start trusting him and I want to let you know something that we have got to stop letting our circumstances dictate our obedience to God's word and to his voice Peter didn't disobey God and look at the outcome. He didn't disobey him. He listened to him. Amongst all the other people saying things. It was absolutely ludicrous. For him to try again. Especially in the place where there's no fish. You might have circumstances going on in your life. Right now. That you were thinking to yourself. God you don't even know. You don't even know what I'm going through. And you're asking me to do this. I've been in them situations where God's asked me to give my last tenor away. And I've done it. And yes, I'm telling you reluctantly because I, I had two kids myself and a wife to look after Natasha, Caleb and Boaz to feed. And I had my last tenor in my pocket. And yet reluctantly, and, and I'm telling you reluctantly because... I didn't want to do it but I kept fighting and I did it in the end and then I, I did it with joy I did it with joy in the end I did it thankfully to God and I got a hundred pound that very day that very day one hundred pound so God had tenfolded it more than I had in the beginning now that won't always happen but we must trust God we must believe and and let our circumstances never dictate 
our obedience. Fear is a massive one. Fear will stop you following God's word. So guys, end of session one, I'm just going to pray. Pray for salvation, that, that you ask Jesus into your life. If you don't know him, just say this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge now that you died on a cross for my sins. I ask you, Jesus, to come into my life and forgive me of my sins and set me free. Help me, Jesus, to not let circumstances stop me being obedient to you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.